Oh, hey, ladies and gents. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're a continuing subscriber, thank you for your continuing support, and I hope you learned something today. So remember this model? We created it in one of my more popular videos. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to bring this from Blender into Cura and Orca Slicer. That way you can slice the model, you can scale it to the right size and print it so that you can paint it. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in Blender and I'm gonna open this model from this up and coming YouTuber. So this is the model that we're gonna work on and we're gonna convert this mesh into STL and then the STL, we're gonna import it into a slicer and then the slicer is gonna convert it to G-code, which is something that the 3D printer can read to actually bring this to life, okay? So the first thing we should do is, we need to check if we have the STL extension exporter installed in Blender. File, export STL. I have it installed, but if you don't, an easy way to do it is to go to edit preferences and I'm going to search for STL. And if this is not checked, go ahead and check it and go to this pancake, save your preferences. You can always click on this so that it auto saves your preferences. I'm going to get out of this. And so, let me explain what's going on. So this right here is a bunch of meshes. And a mesh is defined as a bunch of vertices connected by edges. And these edges create a polygon, which is the face here, okay? Now the 3D printer prints layer by layer. One, two, three. So. The G code is just a set of instructions that the 3D printer can read so to determine where the extruder needs to go in order to, to um, extrude filament. It's as easy as that. So this cannot be read by a 3D printer, but it's pretty easy to slice and send it to your 3D printer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to file, export, STL, and I'm going to save it somewhere on my desktop. And then I'm going to open one of my favorite slicers. Okay. So here we are in Cura. And when you get a Creality 3D printer, I recommend you download Cura. I believe the software that Creality uses is a fork of Cura anyways. So if you get a Creality 3D printer, just um, don't use the bundle software. It's basically Cura. Might as well just use the native one. So just download it. I'll put a link in the description for you and install it. And basically all you have to do is go to preferences, configure Cura, and then here's where you um, add printers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in the STL. Boom. And this little teeny tiny thing is our model. So the problem is because Blender is mainly created for artists, the model itself doesn't have real, real life units. So this is something that you're going to have to implement inside your slicer. If you want to print it, the easiest way to do it is what height you want this to print at. Right, right now it says it's five millimeters. So I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna throw in a hundred, which is, so 25 millimeters is roughly an inch. So a hundred is four inches. Four inches is a pretty good size for it. Um, and right now it's facing to the right. So I'm just gonna go here and it doesn't really matter how it prints, it's just preferences. I'm just gonna rotate it for my sake. So I'm gonna go 90, negative 90, and now it's facing me, okay? You don't really have to do this. 
So now what I do is I go here and the good thing about Q uh, Cura is that it remembers all my slicing settings. So these are my previous slicing settings that I used. So I really don't change much because um, these are dialed in based on the filament that I use. And I, I rarely use different filaments. I get stuff from Sun Lu. Sometimes I get some stuff from Micro Center, but for the most part, it's around the same temperature for printing and the build plate temperature is about the same 60. So I don't change as much. Sometimes I change the infill. For this, it's a round object. Lightning is fine. Um, lightning, what lightning? I'll show you in a second. What it's gonna do is, it's gonna basically make this hollow, and where it needs to be supported, is gonna basically put supports supported by the walls. Just make sure that your wall thickness is pretty substantial. 1.2 is fine. Um, this is a big model, so it's not a big deal. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create click um, slice. then click on preview to look at it okay so i didn't go over my supports but the supports that i use are tree supports touching the build plate so your mileage may vary sometimes they're easy to remove sometimes they're not but that's what i'm using here and then we're going to go in and look at lightning so you see it's basically hollow but then the supports shoot out the walls and it's just supporting like the roof of the model the spikes and basically this this part right here so i go here save to disk and then i just drop it into the same folder that i had the stl and this file i put in an sd card and put it into my 3d printer and i print it that way and this this method is um pretty much the same depending on what other software you use. So I'm going to go to Orca Slicer. So Orca Slicer is very similar to Bamboo Studio. If you ever use a Bamboo Lab printer, you'll this will look very familiar to you. It's basically the same thing. Both of them are a fork of Prusa Slicer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag Gengar. Same thing. Very small. Click on it go here go to scale same thing we're gonna do 100 height and everything is proportional so if you do uniform scale same thing in Cura make sure that if uh, uniform scale is tick, ticked on that way um, it it doesn't scale it in one direction and not the others and you know just for your own preferences you could rotate this too I'm just going to go here and click 90. And you can center this if you want. And we're going to go here. Creality, generic PLA, nothing crazy. We're going to go to strength and we're going to do basically the same thing this doesn't save your previous because I did pick lightning last time and didn't save it so for support I'm gonna enable it and I'm gonna style we're gonna do actually we're gonna do tree auto same thing slice and we're gonna go here and look at same thing these little supports shoot out the side to support the roof and the spikes on the top the cool thing about this it shows you what the g-code is this is the instructions that are going to be sent to your printer for it to print this model so this is your g-code and that's basically it it's pretty simple if you follow these instructions, you could do this on any slicer and it's just trial and error. Sometimes your print, your print may come out messed up, some bad adhesion problems or whatever, you know, just make sure that you check uh, the subreddits 
for 3D printing. I'll put a link in the description to those. If you have any questions, they're pretty good at answering whatever questions you have, as long as you give them as much information as possible. All right, if you got this far in the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, would you consider subscribing? If you're a continued subscriber, thank you for your continued support, and I hope you all learned something today. Please take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Peace.